was she so, you know, downtrodden, hurt? birthday bring life into this world that and having a child you mothers know that having a child just just means all the world to you because that's something that you just grows up with you for those nine months and and comes out and you just love them because they are a part of you and and God gave them to you but Hannah didn't get get any children so she was sad she was downhearted and, and what else what happens after that the other wife well Let's talk about this other wife. Let's talk about the husband that got the other wife. First, the husband claims to love her, but however, up in Genesis chapter 2, 23, it was Adam and Eve. Well, how about God made Adam and Eve, not Adam, Ava, Becca, Carol, Deborah, and Eve? Amen. Amen. So, if he really loved her, he shouldn't have been trying to go get another wife in the first place. But it's all right because he gave her a double portion because he loved her. Okay, let's move on. But not not only do you come know, on Hannah got this position where not only does her husband that said that he loves her and loves her more than anything, but also has a wife, even the other woman is being down this woman. Not only do women have to take this from man, but also have to take this from other women because you know, I don't know why. They just you know, why do women hate other women so much? God did give us some power over there in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Let's go read that for, for a quick second, a hot second. Genesis chapter 3 is after their fall and what God said that he was going to do. Verse 15 is when he was telling to the serpent, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise its heel. So that tells me, once again, that's one reason why they don't like the woman, because the woman Word because God used that lowly, that despised woman and pulls them up to give his word out because God wants to show I love you too, woman. Amen. Just like I love the man and made the man, I love you, woman, and I love you, and I'll use you too. What did you say that was? Genesis, Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. But don't worry, Brother Mel. He used the uh, he used the men too because <laughs> Genesis. We're gonna go on. Amen. Better yet, God said that He would use the lowly. The despise. The more people try to tear you down and make you nothing, the better God can use you just like you. Oh, yeah. oh, she prayed, she cried, she prayed, she cried out, and then you know God heard her. And God gave her that son. And, and what she do, she fulfilled that vow. She said that if God you give me the son, I'm gonna give him back to you. And and after, you know, he was weaned off, she gave him back to God. Amen. And so we go down here to the prayer, to the prayer that my mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no one holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Don't keep talking. Do not keep talking so proudly or let your mouth speak such arrogance. For the Lord is a God who knows, and by him deeds are away. 
Yes, they can talk proudly. They can talk arrogant. But, you know, they shouldn't because God knows. He knows. He knows what they say about you behind your back. They know what they say about you to your face. And try yes, to yes. They know what your family members are doing to you when you're were growing up up in there telling you that you have to do this and you have to do that. As a woman, you should be this and that. As a woman, you should just submit to yourself to that man that will just beat you and go find another woman oh, like Penna. Yeah. No, no. Don't say that. Yes, God knows. Yes, yes, he but does. God, God who knows and by him deeds are weighed. The bowls of the warriors are broken, but those who stumbled are armed with strength. Oh, for the ones that thought that they were so high up, that they were so mighty, that they were yes. so strong. Oh, yes, they're broken. But those that were weak and fallen along the way, yes, God gives them strength. Yes, he does. Those who are full of hired themselves after food, but those who are hungry are hungry no more. Yes, they used to have all She who was barren born seven children. Oh, she's saying how God then gave her seven more children after she already dedicated that one back to him. But she who has had many sons pines away. Oh, that other woman can't talk no more. She can't talk no more because God, God used that lowly her didn't have nothing and gave her more. So now, now they can't even raise their head and say anything to you because that's how God works. Jesus! Come. God sees and God knows. He knows your heart. He knows that all Hannah did was just, you know, just lived her life. It that you say never be nothing. Say the that. that. That may look like they can't do nothing. Maybe that one that was smoking all their life and you know, oh, they ain't gonna get nowhere. They ain't gonna amount to nothing. Ah, da, da, da. God will use those too. Amen. Because he chooses what he wants to do. Because the Lord created the foundations of the earth. It will be silence in the place of darkness. It is not by strength that one prevails. Those who oppose the Lord will be broken. The Most High will thunder from heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Oh, Hannah's prayer is so powerful. And then I thought about it. I thought Jesus! About it. Because my, my, my scripture of the day, oh, it just ties in so beautifully. My scripture of the day was Romans, chapter 8. All right. Verses 1 and 2. Therefore, the, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. No one can condemn you. Condemn your own self. How can you say, oh God, I'm so lowly and despised. You can't use me. I'm not going to do this. I can't open up my mouth and say anything. Yes, woman, you can open up your mouth. Just because there was one verse up in the Bible that said, woman, be silent in the church. A lot of women wants to shut up and sit down and be silent in the church. But I was told 
that God use who he wants to use. God does what he wants to do. Wants to do. And God will do everything that he said he will do. He said he'll use that lowly, that despised, the ridicule. They want to beat down the woman. Well, well, God will use the woman. All right. Oh, uh, can somebody read Jeremiah chapter 32? Y'all know this. Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Jeremiah 32, verse, um, chapter 32, verse 17. Yes, ma'am. Ah, servant of the Lord, you have made the heaven and earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. And read verse. 27 for me, please. This is God's answer. Verse 27. I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? Is there anything? created the sin all there in, the one that separated light from darkness, the one that named the light and gave the sun and the clouds and stuff and called it day and gave the moon and the stars from night and called it night, the one that did all these things. Look around at the vegetation that's outside. Who causes the, uh, the trees to grow up? Is it just sunlight? Is it just air? Is it just water? Then who brings the sunlight? Who brings the water? Who brings the rain? Who does all these things? God. Is it not God? Is there anything too hard for him? Come on. Is there anything too hard for him? Oh, you. You who say you're so lowly and despised. Is there anything too hard for you? Sinner. You say you're a sinner. Is it too hard for you? to wipe his blood all over you because that's why he came and died on the cross anyways. He came and died on the cross so you could be covered with that blood so that God no longer sees you but sees the blood of Christ all over you. So who are you to say that God can't use who he wants to use? God can't do with who he wants to use because he just said that he's the God of all flesh and that there is nothing too hard. A situation you may think is impossible, God makes it possible. Man may plan, but God will ultimately decide because there is nothing too hard for him. He has everything set in motion. Preach, even preach. when we don't think that things are going right, even when we can't see God right now, even when we can't see God, he's moving. Can you believe right now that he is moving in your situation? Yes, she yes. cried. She was sorrowful in heart. Yes. She cried out to the Lord. Yes. She cried out to the Lord. Yes. And what did the Lord do? He heard her cry. Hallelujah. Yes. He heard her cry. Jesus. He gave to her the desire of her heart. How much more can God do for us? Oh, Over there in Luke chapter 12, I do believe he said about the two sparrows that's, that's worth only like five pennies or something. Yes. And, and he knows them. He sees them. He even knows the number of hairs on your hair. Come on. How much more precious are you to him than birds when we were created in his image and in his likeness? He created you. He loves you. When you are come to him, he just redeems you because of his love. Come oh, on. God says multiple times, multiple times, Preach. multiple times. How many times does he have to tell you repent and live because he don't desire that nobody should die in their mess? He oh. wants you to repent and live. That's why he chooses to use the lowly, the despised, oh, the man. woman, yeah. the drug addict, yeah. the prostitute, yeah. the liar, the backstabber, the backbiter. Yeah. Why yeah. does he choose to show you his glory through those people? Because oh. he loves everybody. Yeah. you. God says, I still love you. Amen. Oh, 
created us like we did create our children. Yes. I haven't created children yet, but just yes. like we created children. He wants um, love. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, and then just a little additional what I've been reading lately. Moving on to it. Luke chapter 10, because it's also been laid on my heart. Luke chapter 10 over there. It was round about that 38 verse when Jesus came and was up in the house with Martha and Mary and, and Mary decided not to help out with preparation. She decided to, to go and sit at Jesus' feet yes, and, yes. and, and listen and listen to him. And, and then Martha came to complain and, come and on. help Jesus to come on, know, preach. tell her to help me. Tell her to come on over here. And Jesus answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. A few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Right. You cannot let others, not even family, take you what, from what is better. Hold to God because God's the one that redeems. God's the one that saves. God's the one that hears your cry and can move up in your situations. Hold on to what is better. Just hold on. Just hold on to God's unchanging hands yes. because He's the God of all flesh, and there is nothing, nothing. You know, get that up in your spirit. There is nothing. There's nothing. 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 There is nothing. Nothing. Let you go if you don't let him go, and even then he's still holding on, waiting on you. Amen. 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 Prophetess Diara. Amen. Amen. That's the preach word. Hallelujah.